Hey Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Aquarius. So if you're an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Aquarius, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid, roles can get reversed, so take how it resonates. So, in this reading, if you're in no contact, no communication with this person, if there's a separation that has happened here, or if this person ghosted you that has left you without any sort of explanation, then this reading is going to be for you. We are going to do an energy check-in on this person, take a look into their current feelings, thoughts, true intentions, how they are viewing you, and their possible actions. Ten of Wands. Three of Swords. Okay. Well. Six of Swords. This person is extremely disappointed here. Very disappointed. There could have been a huge fight or argument between the both of you. Look at that. We have 10 and 5 of wands. We have 3 of swords and the 6 of swords. So we have 3 of swords in the mix here and we have the 5 of wands in the mix here. So uh, yeah, this person is very heartbroken. They are suffering. They are in grief. They are feeling the pain of losing you or the pain of this connection. It doesn't even have to be losing you. The pain of this connection not working out the way they would have wanted it to. This person does feel heartbroken about this entire situation. This is someone who's in a lot of like down in the doldrums, a very heavy energy. No wonder as soon as I tapped into your energy, um, I meditated and tapped into your energy. I felt very drained. It's almost like I got a headache here. Uh, my head, my crown chakra also felt very heavy here. So this is someone who feels like they're they extremely stressed. This is a very like this person is extremely stressed here. It's like they can't keep on going. They're trying to. They're trying to just, you ha you know, have a poker face and keep doing whatever they're doing. They're trying to not uh, show to anyone what, show to anyone what is actually going deep inside them. Because what is actually going deep inside them is three of swords here and six of swords. This person is trying to move on from this heartbreak, trying to move on from this pain here. But it doesn't look like this person is actually being able to do that because the Three of Swords is still in upright. It's not in reverse here. There's a lot of inner conflict going on in this person as well here. This person... Uh, could have been very egotistical kind of person you know like uh, the reason the clash this drama this chaos conflict whatever that happened between the both of you the reason that happened is because this person was a uh, too egotistical they were too ego driven kind of a person and it's very possible the reason this person is feeling very heartbroken right now is because their ego is being shattered here It's almost like this person is feels like they don't have anyone to share their load with, share their uh, burdens with, share their stress with, talk to even. You know, they don't have anyone with whom they can have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation, talk and feel free, feel light, feel good. They don't even have anyone like that. 
it's almost like this person is carrying the entire burden of their life or or something like that this it's very possible this person is going through a very stressful work environment they are in a very stressful work environment right now or this could be something going on in their family something because of which this person is very stressed and it's, it's almost like this person uh He's like they don't have anyone to talk to anyone to share with the these uh things that they are going through these heavy emotions these heavy feelings they are going through i also heard the word trauma so yeah this person uh Okay, let's see some more. King of Swords. Queen of Wands. Eight of Cups. Look at that. Six of Swords and Eight of Cups is a very similar energy here. Six of Pentacles in Reverse. Okay, so for some of you, it's very possible this person, um, they were breadcrumbing you. There was someone else in the picture, it's very possible there was someone else this person was dealing with. They, this person was dealing with two people here uh, or multiple people. It's very possible because the queen of wands is a very like, it is a refined player kind of energy, but still it's a player, right? So the, uh, this person could have been dealing with multiple people and that is why they were not giving to you the amount they should be giving to you. You know, there was no equal give and take. The scales were not balanced here. And it's also what I'm getting here is if this person was actually dating other people or were, were with multiple other people or they were with one particular person, there were two people involved in this uh, situation here. Not to mention we do have the Queen of Wands at the bottom of this deck as well. And the emperor and the, ooh, the emperor and the high priestess. And look at that. The six of pentacles is in reverse even here. And both the decks, the six of pentacles is in reverse here. This was definitely someone who was, this is a very selfish person you were dealing with. Someone who is almost like very greedy kind of a person. So if whatever this person was doing, whatever they were doing, it's just that this person was trying to stroke their own ego and pride. It's almost like this is the kind of person who needed their, satisfaction this person needs like, you know their ego needs to be satisfied here a very selfish person this person was also unfair to you as well you know it's almost like this this person wants to have that sort of power they want to feel good it's like if people are chasing them, if people are coming after them, if there are multiple people who wants them, this person feels really, really good. Their ego is really strong. They feel very strong and powerful and, and dominating almost. Yeah, no wonder we have the Queen of Wands and the Emperor here. This is a very ego-driven person. This is someone who is all about me, me, me. This also could be like, again, my way or the highway kind of attitude this person has. You know, what I got is this, this was the kind of person who, very unawakened kind of a person, someone who didn't even have the remorse of what they were doing. It's almost like this was the kind of person who listens to their ego, pride and me, 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 the self so much that they don't even listen to their intuition. They ignore their intuition. This is the kind of person who ignores their intuition. And again, this is this is how they are. This is this is the kind of person that you were dealing with. Could be very charming and good looking as well, you know. Uh, could could be very resourceful as well. I wanted to say if this person does have like uh, financially they're a stable person, but the word I got is resourceful. So that doesn't necessarily have to be financially stable. It just could mean that this person knows how to. I'm not getting a good energy. So. Hmm. This combination doesn't seem good at all. This person just knew where to give their resources, who to give to their give their resources, who to give to. 
could be a very intelligent or clever or cunning person you are dealing with. They had a way with their words. They, they were very charming. They came across also as someone who's very confident and sure of themselves. Someone who's very determined, focused. But it's almost like whatever this person was, it was just a facade they had. It was just a mask they were wearing. This is like this weird con artist kind of a vibe I'm getting. It's not even, a, it's a good energy here. Okay. It's almost like you leaving this person or you disconnecting from this person, this not working out between the both of you. It was this huge blow to their ego almost. This is a huge blow to their ego here. Now, for some of you, this is this is someone whose heart is blocked, you know, and they constantly keep listening to their head. They constantly keep listening to their head and they're not even happy. It's not like this person is actually happily listening to their head all the time. Look at that. Ten of Wands and King of Swords. This person is overburdened by listening to their head all the time, but doing by doing what their ego wants to do. It's almost like this person lets their ego drive them into wherever their ego is like leading them. Even if it's not good, even if their intuition is telling them that it's not good, this person still lets their ego drive them. very well have very uh, strong leadership qualities as well or could be very well a leader but again um like th this was the issue with this person this is the, this this is definitely a past energy i'm picking up on what this person have or what happened between the both of you here but yeah this is the kind of person who always just listens to their um head because i was trying to look at their feelings and the only cups card that came out is eight of cups here. So this very well could be the kind of person, you know what I got? This person leaves people before they can leave, before the other person can leave them. This person leaves the other person before the other person can leave them. It's like this person has deep-seated abandonment issue here. This is this is like stemming from their childhood or stemming from their past where this person has very deep abandonment issues. And they sort of keep projecting these abandonment issues onto other people here. And that is why this person is afraid to listen to their heart. Three, three, three there. Okay, one more time. Ten of Cups. Yeah, it's almost like this person's heart truly, truly wants this happiness. They want this happily ever after. They want harmony. They want a good family. They want happiness. They want to build. They want this divine partnership or love. They want to. But it's like their, their head or their ego constantly keeps... It, it's almost like I'm getting this energy of their ego or their head just keeps this person away from what they truly desire, what they truly want. This person listens to their ego, their head so much that they themselves sabotage connections and run away.
Yeah, abandonment issues, five of pentacles. This person already has been heartbroken. This person already has some abandonment issues. For some of you, this person could have suffered financial, uh, this person had financial struggles in the past as well. You know, they have financially struggled in the past. Or this could very well be, you know, someone who has that lack mindset, someone who lacks faith even. Very, uh, like, very, uh, someone who is very scared. They're just scared. They're scared of everything. Especially scared of getting vulnerable there. So this is this, what is this person truly is, but this is the mask this person wears of someone where, because Queen of Wands is very confident. She, again, I'm, it's, it doesn't, gender doesn't matter in tarot. So Queen of Wands is the kind of person who will go out there and get what they want. Very confident, very charismatic, very uh, good looking, very well groomed as well. You know, someone who takes care of themselves, takes care of their physical uh, attributes or looks. Could be dealing with a leo here we finally have a major arcana here we had no major arcanas up till now and the eight of pentacles yeah financial finances is a big issue with this person six of pentacles in reverse eight of pentacles five of pentacles six of pentacles upright is a good energy but in reverse especially this is This person truly wants to be happy. They truly want to be happy here. They truly want to have the contentment and have, have a happy family, feel good, feel happy and not be stuck in their past. This is someone who's very stuck in their past. It's also very possible this person did have a heartbreak in the past. Could be childhood, could be a, a, through another relationship, a past relationship. And they're carrying the burden of that pain, the burden of that heartbreak. To the point where they are just sabotaging future connections here. To the point that this burden, this heartbreak is so, this person is so much in pain inside that they just put up this mask, have that poker face and pretend that they are just fine. But inside, this person is in a lot of pain here. This person does want to move on. Look at that. They do want to have the strength to walk away or move on from whatever this past pain is. They do want to move on from that. They do want to walk away from that. They do want to manifest this Ten of Cups with you. But it's so difficult for this person to do this. It's so difficult for this person. It's almost like this person is so used to, to listen to their ego. That it's it's suddenly, you know, if, if you have been doing something for a long while, you can't just switch your energy up just like that. It doesn't happen. It takes a lot of hard work. It takes a lot of strength, courage, willpower. To change that about yourself. And that is what is like this person's like they want to. They really want to because this is someone who really wants to work on themselves. Work on their own patterns. Work, want to work on their ego and have a healthy ego. Since we are all in, the, in this 3D here, we do need ego here. You know, ego is necessary. And there is a difference between healthy ego, a good ego, and just like, you know, your pride dictating that ego. So this person wants to have that healthy sort of ego. They want to have a, they want to be a healthy person and not physically healthy, you know, emotionally and mentally healthy. They want to overcome this lack mindset they have, this, this deep loneliness this person has. This person is very, very lonely. They are feeling very lonely right now. And it's almost like this is the kind of person, who, no matter who they are with, they still feel lonely inside.
Ace of Swords. Ooh. Queen of Pentacles. Five of Cups in Reverse. Two of Wands in Reverse. This person feels like you don't trust them anymore. Why did I get the energy? Bottom of the deck is Hierophant. You could be dealing with a Taurus here. Since we don't have any major arcana, is there a, like this is just one major arcana here with the strength. And other than that, we do have all the other elements. Air, um, earth, fire, water. So here we do have all the elements, but we only have one major arcana here. So, um, yeah, what I got is this person has given you so severe trust issue that you don't trust relationship, you don't trust marriage. For some of you, you might have, you know, like you, you have become very fearful about relationships. You have become very fearful about love. You have become very fearful about commitment. Yeah, a lot of pessimism that has set into you. See, this person is very well aware of the kind of... <sighs> trauma almost they gave you. This person is very aware of that. You know, especially considering the Queen of Pentacles is a very nurturing, caring, kind energy. The Queen of Pentacles is an all-rounder. She is an all-rounder. She can handle and manage everything. Like she can balance everything very, very well. You know, so uh, even after you gave so much to this person, you, you still, you still ended up getting betrayed by them. Right. So this person knows very well that you have lost trust and faith in probably the institution of marriage itself you don't have much faith in relationship you are finding and this could simply be that you you are very scared of uh trusting someone new with the two of wands in reverse you are very scared of trusting someone new you are a bit of like closed off right now And it's very possible uh, we also have the ace of wands here and it's very possible this closed offness is considering this like it's it's regarding this person or it's for some of you it's very possible you are very pessimistic about love in general like you are giving up on love you're giving up on relationships you don't have that faith it's almost like your faith has been tested right now You're even scared of, you know, you're even scared of developing feelings for someone. That's what I'm getting here. Take it only if it resonates. Not to mention, you, have, you, you know the truth. You know the truth and clarity of what you exactly want and what you don't want. You know it. The kind of treatment you deserve and what you don't deserve. You know it. You're very clear about that. With the Ace of Swords, you have like crystal clear about what exactly you want and don't want. For some of you, you have actually told this person like, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I want. This is the kind of relationship, the kind of commitment I'm looking for. And whatever you are bringing to the table, I'm not interested in that. With the Five of Wands, there are literally so many people involved in this card here that it's very, this very well could have been multiple people got involved in this connection and Things became too over dramatic. There was a lot of drama between the both of you that happened as well. A lot of drama happened in this connection. And you're like, no, I don't want that drama. I don't want it. You, you are draining my energy. I'm a very nurturing, caring, loving person. I want a stability. I want a good connection. I'm tired of being disappointed. 
I'm for some of you, you're even tired of giving to options that just keep disappointing you. Like, why do I keep manifesting these kind of people? So for some of you, you want a new beginning, you want new things, but you're finding it very difficult to trust that process or even trust your own intuition here. Because again, the, the past experiences have just showed you or told you that it just doesn't happen. This person sees you as someone who's very pessimistic about them. You are extremely pessimistic about them. You don't trust them at all. And you are want to play safe here. You don't want to take any more risks with this person. You might already feel like you took risks with this person where you, when you were in this connection, but you don't want to take any more risks here. Not for this person, not for someone like them. Look at that ace of pentacles came out ace of wands ace of uh, ace of wands right and the ace of pentacles so for some of you you are actually having a new beginning here for some of you you are actually manifesting because we do have the hierophant here as well you are actually manifesting someone new the kind of person the kind of commitment you have been looking for because we have three aces in your energy And you are doing this just like, you're just manifesting it. You're just pulling it towards you. And I'm getting someone, uh, whoever I'm tapping into, this is like extreme, a lot of willpower, a lot of strength. And you're pulling that in towards you. Because again, see, whenever, when, you, when you want to manifest something, if you have that mental clarity, I know what I want. That's when you manifest, that's when manifestation becomes easier. It's only when you just, oh, I don't know what I want. Maybe that, maybe that too. This confusion. And a lot of times we have to experience what we don't want to understand what we do exactly want. And for some of you, that is what has happened here. Yeah, look at that. Bottom of this deck is new love. And, and then we have self-love. Uh, focus on loving yourself. Focus on loving yourself increases your attractiveness. Sorry. Focusing on loving yourself increases your attractiveness. This should be focusing, but anyways. You know? So the Queen of Pentacles is someone who knows their worth and is very like respectful kind of a person. She's a high value kind of man or woman, right? So once you know your value, you know what exactly you want when it comes to love. When it comes to relationship and it comes to commitment there's no more confusion This person feels like they have met their match with you. This is what I got with the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords because we already have the King of Swords in this person's energy. You could be dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but this person feels like they have met, met their match. So this person tried to love bomb you. They sort of tried to sweep you off your feet with their words or whatever. But you did find out the truth. You did figure out the truth about this person. So whatever mind games this person tried playing on you, it did not work. You, you figured them out. Might have taken you a while, but you still did. 
So this person feels like right now they have met your match and that is what is making this person very, very attracted towards you as well. Not to mention this person is very aware that if they try to come rushing towards you with that sort of passionate, heated kind of an energy or someone who just comes in, you know, because the Knight of Swords is a very whimsical kind of energy. The Knight of Swords is, doesn't know where they are going. The Knight of Swords says something and do something else, does something else. Not someone who will walk the talk. So, uh, yeah, this person, they are very aware that if they come towards you with this Knight of Swords energy, they are going to see this Queen of Swords, which is the match to the King of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have two of cups. Yeah, so for someone, uh, some of, do you see how that new, new love is here? So it's very possible we do have developing new feelings. So it's very possible this person is developing these feelings for you. It's almost like they are more attracted to you now than they ever were. That sort of an energy. Or it's very possible what I'm also getting is take it how it resonates. Be uh, you know, either this person is developing these new feelings for you and they want to fight for you with the seven of wands here. Or this person, you know, uh, they now they want to come towards you and express their feelings and fight for you because this person feels like you're moving on from them. We, what about this deck we also had? Drinking to get over you, trying to move on by dating, deeply missing and thinking about you. So, yes, this person is actually trying to move on. Six of Swords and Eight of Cups. They definitely tried to move on. And this person felt like, oh, I'm strong enough to move on from this. I'm strong enough to get over this. I will find distractions to get over this. And this person with the Queen of Wands very well could have gone out there and tried to find dis other distractions. By dating others, drinking or whatever. But it did not just help with this person. It, it just did not help. They are still very, very attracted towards you. Yeah, look at that. Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands. Yes, this person wants to pursue you. They want to fight for this connection. Even if it causes a lot of drama between the both of you with the Five of Wands. This person knows that if they come towards you, you're just going to tell them off. With the Queen of Swords, you are going to tell them off. You are going to give them a piece of your tongue and your mind. Uh, I'm sorry for the times I pushed you away instead of pulling you closer. Four, four, four. I wish I had been more willing to compromise and meet you halfway. I'm deeply sorry for hurting and disappointing you. Something off limits is restricting this connection. Yeah, uh, it's very possible this person is literally like... Um, bottom of the deck, we have attraction here. Yeah, healing, recovering from past trauma. 
it's very possible as i said this person is uh, uh you know like they are stuck in something from their past there's some past pain this person has that they're still holding on to and they need to release it first until and unless this person releases that there's you both like they can't come towards you and not to mention with the off limits here this is what i'm getting here you are off limits to this person right now you are the one they can't have divine timing something may not be when you want it but when you need it okay let's get something from here confusion came out in reverse almost so yeah this is someone having clarity yeah secret admirer Yeah, now because you are off limits, this person is more attracted towards you. And as I said, that attraction, spark, passion, chemistry. Conflict. Yeah, there was a huge difference with differences between the both of you. You were not both you were not on the same page here. And that is the reason why these conflicts happened. I know there's someone else. Yeah, see, this person feels like you already have someone else. Or this could have been just you who figured out that this person has someone else. I'm making some solid plans for a future, but it will take some time. Please wait. Your independent nature is highly attractive yet scary. Yeah, this person is very attracted towards you. I'm worried that it will be too late to make things right with you. You deserve so much more than I can give you right now. I'm working hard on myself. I feel so stuck in life. I'm not happy with anything. I'm still in pain. Yes, this person is still in pain. Yeah, my heart is fragile. Please handle it with care. This is a very, this person's heart has been broken one too many times. So this is some past pain uh, they have experienced. I know my actions have proved otherwise, but I do love you. Can we just pretend that the past never happened and start over again? Yeah, this person really wants to fight for this. With the Queen of Wands and the Seven of Wands. And the Two of Cups here. Well, that's your reading, Aquarius. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.